But yeah, so Turkey Alashik is talking about he's uh, talking about he has a uh, interest in the small the weight division. Now yeah, anyway, going to fight in foreign lands, you know, outside of Japan, you know, outside of his home country, that's gonna help his exposure, you know. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying that he needs to fight outside of Japan. Again, I'm not saying that he needs to fight outside of Japan. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? He's definitely great, but a lot of people are, aren't aware of his greatness because he only fights in Japan, you know, uh, on, a, on a Tuesday. I'm going up on a Tuesday. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God, he get money, man. Dr. Box is talking to the building, man. Y'all know what it is. The doctor's in the house. Hey, check this out, man. So today, uh, you know, we have some good news coming from Saudi Arabia. It's funny, I was just talking about this um, um, yesterday um, during the live stream. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so Turkey al is talking about, he's uh, talking about he has a uh, interest in the smaller weight division, you know what I'm saying? Particularly the 135 and 140 pound division, you know, lightweight, super lightweight, and even classes further. So, uh, you know, since he expressed that interest uh, verbally, <laughs> outwardly, you know, you know, we could possibly get a uh, tank versus a uh, hang. On left hook from the oh he dropped him oh oh, 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 oh bitch two big bombs come from Ryan Garcia another left hook from Ryan Garcia oh my god oh my gosh oh my god oh my god he definitely go out like this bro this is tough man oh my god oh my lord no no no. no! 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 God! No! 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 God, please, no! No! no. Ryan Garcia got too no. much! No! He got too no. much! Not like this. He got too much! That's too much pressure! That's too much pressure! <laughs> but I guess nobody's interested in that anymore, huh? Thanks to King Ryan. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, so, uh, but the all jokes aside, uh, you know, we could bring up, um, Javante versus Shakur, and, 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 and some more battles, you know what I'm saying, um, maybe get Tio Fima out there, you know, and, and just, and just encourage these guys to, these guys to fight each other, you know, that'd be dope, you know, and, 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 and Saudi Arabia really trying to become the, 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 the capital of the boxing world, you know what I'm saying, uh, and do it in a short time span, you know, but also, you know, more importantly, well, I'm gonna say more importantly, but equally importantly, he has, he has expressed interest in, uh, bringing Nalia anyway out there, man, you know what I'm saying, the, the pound for pound, uh, top dog, you know, him and Terrence Crawford, I think Terrence Crawford, number one, I have Nalia anyway, number two, but if you have Nalia anyway, number one, you know, it, it doesn't really make no difference, you know, so you can flip flop both of them, but, uh, it's funny, I was just talking about this on the stream yesterday, this is gonna be a short video, but I was just talking about this on the stream yesterday, I was like, man, you know, this would definitely help his exposure. Now I know people are gonna have selective hearing and and, and they're gonna you know <laughs> they're gonna conveniently hear what they want. <laughs> yes. I'm preemptively calling you retarded. I think that now you anyway going to fight in foreign lands, you know, outside of Japan, you know, outside of his home country, that's gonna help his exposure, you know. He's definitely great, but a lot of people are aren't aware of his greatness because he only fights in Japan, you know, uh, on a on a Tuesday. I'm going up. <laughs> at 4 a.m., you know, so it's not really conducive for people to have an active working schedule to, to, to tune into him, you know what I'm saying? So they, if they do know him, it's, it's most likely limited to reading an article about it. Now, what I'm not saying is I'm not saying that he needs to fight outside of Japan. Once again, I'm not saying that he needs to fight outside of Japan. Once again, I'm not saying that he needs to fight outside of Japan. <laughs> because he has the money there. He has a... He has a he has a crowd there, you know his his his, his national audience, and he's probably a, a, a national hero already, you know, as as he deserves. But if he wants to establish a, a global presence, you know, and, and increase his popularity and his exposure, then you know naturally one would have to fight abroad. No, that's a douchebag fighting abroad. I said abroad. <laughs> You know, whether it's in England, whether it's in America, whether it's in Saudi Arabia, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And he expressed that he wants to be 
uh, 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 leave a legacy in boxing, you know what I'm saying, and increase his popularity. He has, he has, he has said that himself. So if he wants to do that, an easy way to accomplish that is, is, is by going to fight abroad. And Saudi Arabia is a perfect opportunity, um, you know, as opposed to staying in Japan and fighting on a Tuesday. Going up on a Tuesday. Oh, and before you idiots <laughs> who don't listen properly say, oh, well, he fought four times outside of Japan already. Shut up, bitch. Yes, I'm aware of that, man. He fought three times in the U.S. and once in England, you know what I'm saying, with his, those opponents, including um, Jason Maloney and Emmanuel Rodriguez, respectively. But that's not the point. The point is that he did that earlier on in his career, and, you know, that helped his exposure. So, And, and fighting other places will also help his exposure. That's the only point I'm making. <laughs> I keep bringing up a Tuesday because his last uh, one, one, one of his uh, most recent matches against Marlon Topala, you know, where he established his uh, uh, two time uh, two division uh, undisputed championship. That was on December 26th of 2023. Go check your calendars. Yes, that was a Tuesday at 4 a.m. I'm going to watch it because I'm a boxing purist and I'm a boxing crackhead. You know what I'm saying? I love <laughs> I love boxing, so anytime there's a good match and I'm available to see it, I'm gonna I'm gonna wake up early, set my alarm, and and watch it. But the but but the but the common person, the casual person, is not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're in America, England, or 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 or, or, or otherwise, you know what I'm saying? South America or, or or Nigeria, wherever you wherever you're at, you know what I'm saying? So I think that him fighting somewhere else will give him exposure to to foreign c crowds, and it'll, it'll it'll build his legacy even further. I'm not saying that he needs to. Do you You know, he for the money or whatever. You know, he, he's pretty well established. He's, he's very well established in Japan. So if that's what he wants to do, he can stay there. You know, but undoubtedly, if he wants to, well, a, a easy way to build your exposure, you know, on a global scale and let people appreciate your greatness more. You know, then it, it, it's best to fight elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? So that so I think this is a perfect opportunity, man. Shout out to Turkey Alashik. He's going crazy right now for the boxing community. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Ryan Garcia, bro. I stood out over that, man. That was crazy. But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking me. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all be easy. God bless. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.